And today I'm giving you my top five investing books that actually help you learn how to invest your money and actually make more money. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of self-help books or books that are meant to motivate you to do more, although they can be helpful. But for me personally, when it comes to trading and learning about investing, I like books that actually teach me something and give me an answer to actually better myself. Although motivation and dedication is definitely needed, all five books I'm giving you today have taught me something, will teach you something, and they save everybody time. I'm gonna leave timestamps down below so you can scroll through in case you already read the books that I'm listing. And just an FYI, I will leave links down below to all the books I'm listing. They are not affiliate links. I'm just leaving them down below. So you may be able to find a better deal elsewhere, but if you just wanna click on and see what they look like, I will leave them down for your own personal reference. The first book on my list can technically be considered a motivational type of book, but it's Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which you've seen in a lot of videos like this. And the reason why is because it's a staple to all investing books you should read. It teaches you what money is, the loopholes around money and how you can apply it elsewhere in your life to kind of think of it as a game rather than just slaving away for money. And if you're brand new to investing and making passive income and everything like that, this is a book I highly recommend you read because it's really entertaining to read. It's not just boring terminology and learning facts and numbers. It's actually a really good story and it teaches you a lot and it leaves you ready to learn more. There's also an audio version of this, so you can listen to it in audiobooks, or there is YouTube videos out there where you can listen to it for free. So if you want to listen to it in a podcast type of version and play it in your car or leave it in your AirPods or at the gym, you can listen to this very easily. And it's a really good listen because that's how I did it personally. The next book on my list is actually considered the four hour work week. And just like Rich Dad Poor Dad, it can motivate you, give you some inspiration. But the importance of this book, it actually teaches you how to apply passive income in your life and basically get you ready to do other things and how you can earn more money in a short amount of time. And the biggest points of this book that you should know without giving anything away is time management, how passive income can change your life forever, and then how you actually don't need a lot of money to live the lifestyle you wanna live. And then they teach you how to apply in different settings of your life. This book I really do recommend to beginning investors because just like Rich Dad Poor Dad, there's a really good story behind it so it'll keep you entertained and you don't have to worry about crunching numbers and learning any type of terminology as it's a smooth read over and it leaves you ready to learn more. Also, the book's a little bit longer so this is something I would recommend actually reading rather than listening to the audiobook but there is an audio version itself. I personally like reading books that are longer in person just because I feel like I retain more. Um, Rich Dad Poor Dad is a shorter book so it's not that much of a listen. And number three is my favorite investing book of all time and many people will agree with me and that's called The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham who was basically Warren Buffett's mentor into investing. This book is really good for beginning and intermediate investors. If you're a beginning investor, I would definitely consider buying the actual copy of the book and reading it yourself because there's a lot of terminology in this book and a lot of methods of investing that they use and try to teach you how to invest that you may not understand and you definitely want to look up what the certain things mean and how you can apply it when it comes to investing. This is something I would definitely just take the book, sit down and actually put some time into it and really try to understand it. It will teach you a lot about the history of investing, how a lot of investing strategies are repetitive and how you can apply it to modern day investing strategies and then when a crash comes, how you can you make money during a crash, how bonds are used, what the government does, and how everything came to be. It's a really good book and it's kind of a jack of all trades when it comes to books about investing. Also, this is the only book on this list that I've actually read twice just because I enjoyed it so much. And after a couple of years of investing, I just went back and read it again. And there's a lot to be learned from it. This is definitely a book you want to just keep on picking up and rereading certain sections as certain events come up in the world. The next book on my list is for all my real estate investors. Now, this is a very simple read and a very simple book, but it will teach you everything you need to know about real estate investing when it comes to buying a property, how to actually make a profit off the property, and what you need to look for when you go to searching for a property, get the inspections done, and all the fine details that you probably wouldn't have thought of elsewhere. And this book is called The Real Estate Investor's Pocket Calculator by Michael C. Thompson. I actually got this from Barnes & Noble. It's a very short book, so you can read it very fast. If you sit down for a few hours and get through it, 
but there's a lot of things you probably want to highlight throughout the book because when you go to look at properties you want to bring this book up and see if everything matches up and it teaches you different real estate strategies on how to make cash flow from a property is it worth flipping this house is it worth running this house out is it worth turning it into a business and there's different things you can apply with this book and like i said before this is a cut and dry book there's no story behind it it's a straight information and there's no games at all just from beginning to end it tells you exactly what you need to do so if you're looking to get into real estate and YouTube videos or podcasts aren't cutting it for you. I would definitely recommend reading this book. I've learned a lot from that. And from somebody who owns real estate properties himself, I have used these strategies also, which is the burst strategy. I also have a video made on that. But in this book, they also talk about it. Also, with real estate prices going through the roof and inflation coming up with wood prices, steel prices, and everything like that, it's becoming increasingly harder to actually make profit off a real estate property. So when you do look for your first home, whether you want to live in it, or you want to rent it out, or you want to flip it, it's extremely important to make sure you're at least going to make some form of money off your property, whether it's just a normal residential property you want to live in by yourself with your significant other or family, you will always want to become into a profit zone. You don't want to make this a liability. And that leads me into my next book. And it's almost kind of funny that I'm bringing this book up, but I kid you not, this book has taught me everything I need to know about technical analysis when it comes to investing, whether that is crypto, whether that is a stock market or anything else. This is for beginning investors, intermediate investors, and almost to advanced investors. I can look at any single stock now and actually understand it. Um, it almost seems like I'm trying to sell you this, but I just really enjoy it. Candlestick charting, demystified, and it's basically like a how-to book for dummies. But I kid you not, it teaches you everything when it comes from the essentials of candlestick chart construction, identify key trading patterns and market behavior, loading with clear examples and explanations. And then it also tests you out the end of the book. So as you throw out the chapters, make sure that you actually understand everything. And it teaches you everything you need to know. Now, I am fully aware that there are people who absolutely hate technical analysis. And then there's some people who live by it. For me, I fall right in the middle. I, I don't live by it, I don't hate it. I think it's just another tool in your arsenal you can use when you're investing into a company. So if you see a company and you speculate on them, you like the business model, you like what they stand for, you think they're profitable, and then you look at the technical analysis that matches up, that's just another reason to add on to why that may be a good investment for you. Especially for an investment that is cheap in price where a large volume can change the price by a lot. So you wanna make sure you watch out for different patterns to make sure in the short term, things work out in your favor. And for my newer and younger investors, I know what it's like to look at different influencers or people on social media doing technical analysis on stocks and cryptocurrencies. And you're just like, I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm so confused, you just click away. This book has taught me how to look at that and actually understand without struggling to catch up and, and basically acknowledge what's happening in the video. It makes things super simple and, I, and basically you don't really need anybody else. You wouldn't need somebody like me and this is not discouraging anybody else on the internet. I just really like this book a lot and I recommend it to anybody that's really trying to learn how to apply technical analysis to their investments. So that's all I have for this video. If you guys want to know more or learn more, I have a free discord down below and I have chat rooms where you can actually study with other people and talk about these books, talk about investments. I have different channels where we do due diligence on stocks, real estate, and crypto and then recently i'm going to start live streaming on there preferably on sundays just going over certain stocks and investments that you guys may want to hear about and just get my personal opinion one-on-one -on -one because this is a smaller community now so it's very easy to talk to you guys and reach out whenever you guys need help so thank you guys very much for watching i do appreciate all of your guys support and as of recently i am nearing 1400 subscribers so thank you guys again please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time